What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we have a nice budget friendly optic. It is the Gen 4 Primary Arms SLX 1 to 6 by 24. That is a mouthful. All SLX series primary arms bring the value, 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 value when you see the SLX series. This whole week is actually dedicated to primary arms optics. Today we have the one to six, and the 28th we have the five to 25 SLX, and then on the 30th, this right here is their auto live battery cap. My favorite thing that primary arms has ever put out. It adds uh, auto off, auto on, shake awake, whatever you want to call it, all that technology to your low power variable optic. And I appreciate that because I never remember to turn off the power on my low power variable optic. All right, let's start at the back here at the diopter. The diopter is going to focus the reticle for your eyes, your eyesight. It has a huge range of motion, so it's going to be able to focus the reticle to pretty much any set of eyesight. Um, it's not too stiff, not too soft. It is just about perfect. Perfect. The magnification ring goes from one all the way to six. Uh, this ring is a little on the stiff side, especially if you let it sit for a while. Like if you go to the range once a week, like I do once or twice a week, uh, at first it's super stiff and you move it back and forth a little, it loosens up a little bit, but still overall it's a little, little bit stiffer than I would like to see it. Um, the field of view on one time is going to be 120 feet, which is good. On six times it's 20 feet, which is still good. Again, with a, uh, with a budget friendly optic. Now your eye box and eye relief, let's talk about that a little bit here. Um, your eye relief is four inches. That's how far away you can get to the red, uh, away from the low part power variable optic and still see everything clearly and that's very very good for a low power variable optic and I have no way of measuring that but we'll take primary arms word for it, it does seem about accurate your eye box is your up down left right and that's good the glass clarity the colors all that is good again we got to keep in mind this is a $300 optic if you want something that's great Look at the Primary Arms PLX series on one of their higher end ones. Those are crystal, crystal clear, great color, great eye box. This is good. I don't think anyone would look through this and go, ew, that's disgusting or off-putting or you hate it. It's not at all, uh, especially when it comes in around just north of $300. All right, before we get into the reticle, we have a quick sponsor of the video and it's that guy right back there, Virtual VTAC. Two years ago, I did a review on them. South African company are finally getting their products in the United States and I am very, very excited. They're foam rubber training, training dummies. You put a couple thousand rounds through them. You respray paint them so you can use them over and over and over. Um, the couple thousand rounds depends on the shot placement and the caliber, the bullet type, a bunch of different variables. But they last a long time. They're a lot of fun. Great way to elevate your training. By the time this video comes out, they should be live on Amazon. I'll put a link down to their website in, or down uh, Amazon down in the video description. It should be live by the time this video comes out. I'm sorry if it's not. They just landed here in the United States and they got to go through the Amazon warehouse. We'll see how long that takes. But uh, very, very fun uh, addition to your range trips and they're very light. They only weigh two and a half pounds. So they're very easy to move around, take in and out of the car and stuff. All right, let's get in to the reticle because all ACSS reticles are useful, they're simple, they're badass, they're great. Being this is a second focal plane optic, that means all of you, the holdovers and the bullet drop compensators and the ranging and all the cool guy features I'm about to tell you about only work at six times magnification, just so you know. This particular optic is 556 and 308. They also make it 762 and 300 black. And they also have one called a Nova, which is the brightest low power variable optic I have ever seen. We're talking aim point red dot bright. It is out of control bright. All right, in the middle you have a chevron. The chevron's great because the tip can be very, very precise. You can put the entire chevron and a bigger target and let loose close up if you need to. I love chevrons. The best part about it, the chevron, the only part of the reticle that lights up when you turn the illumination on is just the chevron and nothing else. So I love everything about that. The stadia lines underneath the Chevron are gonna be your bullet drop compensator out to 800 yards. So you have uh, the Chevron itself is a bullet drop compensator and then you have four, five, six, seven, eight hundred 800 yards. You have some uh, wind holds off of those same stadia lines. You'll see five, 10 mile an hour wind holds and it goes eight, seven, six, five in the 400 yard. The 400 yard, five, mile an hour wind holdover is actually the end of the stadia lines. There's not a separate dot for it. I'll try to zoom in and let you see that up here somewhere. 
Um, there's some moving target holds as well. The tip of the chevron is going to be both tips on both sides. Somebody walking, which is about 3.6 miles an hour. That's roughly where you would hold to get a hit on a moving target. And then there's two other dots a little further out. That's going to be if somebody is running. Average speed for a healthy male running is about 8.6 miles per hour. And that's the hold hold lines for those. Um, the ranging features, you have two different sets of, uh, two different ways of ranging people. Those same stadia lines underneath the Chevron, that is your bullet drop compensator. If you notice they're different widths, that's also gonna be a way to range somebody. So average person is about 18 inches from shoulder to shoulder. If you put that line on somebody's shoulder and it lines up perfectly, that's roughly how far away they are. Again, same four, five, six, seven, 800 yards away. And that's how you know roughly how far they are. Now the, the other lines off to the right and off to the left here is gonna be uh, for somebody's height. Again, assuming they're roughly five foot 10, you put the bottom of that line on their feet, you put the top of the, if they're, the top of their head lines up to the top of the line, sorry, I said it wrong, then you know roughly that's how far away they are. This line here I'll show you is 500 yards away. We'll throw a Santa up there so you can see exactly what I'm talking about, but please, please don't shoot Santa. I need a sip of my energy drink, Ghost. Don't ever try these, they're way too good. I actually didn't need the sip, I just forgot what was next and wanted to buy some time. All right, let's talk about your windage and elevation adjustment. So this is a mill reticle, which means each click is gonna be a point one mil adjustment, which is roughly 0.36 yards, inch, 0.36 inches at 100 yards, sorry. Um, so each click is a 0.1 and you have a total of 120 mil adjustments. Uh, there is a little bit of wiggle in these turret adjustments. They are capped, take the caps off and you'll see there's just a little tiny bit of wiggle. I, some people care about that, some people don't. I just uh, figured I would mention it. One thing I do like is on the back, of the windage and the elevation you have some engraving showing you which way is up down left or right so you don't have to come completely off the rifle to make adjustments a little reminder there your uh, settings on the other side for your brightness you have 11 brightness adjustments and i'd say it's just barely daylight bright there is no off positions in between some of the higher end primary optics do have that this one does not it takes a cr2032 like most low power variable optics and again what you see on here the extra piece is the auto live battery cap it turns the low power variable optic into an auto off with a shake awake one of my favorite things that primary arms has ever put out all right here are the dimensions here's the weight the price 339 and you know primary arms will have these on sale that is just a heck of a price 18 ounces is not bad standard 30 millimeter tube and of course i will put some affiliate links for that optic and for the the, the shooting dummy back there i call him walter so if i refer to walter i'm talking to him i'll put some uh, uh affiliate links for both of them if you want to pick it up Primary Arms Lifetime Warranty is the last thing I want to talk about until we go into testing. They have a great, great warranty. One of the best in the industry. If you ever have a problem, call them. They will take care of it. That is really, really loud. Yes? Hi. I'm doing a video and now you're in my video. Say hi to the world. Hi, world. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, that was my wife. I always, always, always answer when my wife calls. Anyway, primary arms warranty is dope. That's all I was trying to say. Testing. Most of the time, this optic has spent its life on this primary weapon systems mod two. This review is coming shortly, and this is one of the nicest rifles I've ever reviewed. I think it's my favorite. I gotta go through all of them and think, but I think it's my favorite. So it has about 500 rounds on this rifle and then also spent some time on a leviathan defense rifle which is nice as well it's about half the price so it's not quite as nice but that's a very nice rifle so in total this optic probably has six seven eight hundred rounds in total no issues no problems everything is smooth i did a lot of one-ups did a lot of transitions a lot of shooting the same um, drill at different magnifications that's a great way to test an optic and the eye box and the eye relief and all the different features of the optic. I love doing that. I think that's a great, great way. So no issues, no problems. Everything is running well, smooth sailing. My pros, the value. Primary Arms brings the value, whether it's one of their higher end optics or they're budget friendly like this, their value is always there. I love love the acss reticles they're so simple they're so useful i i really really dig them what was the other thing i wanted to talk about uh lifetime warranty is great 
and uh, I think that was all the all the pros that I had. As far as cons, I say this all the time, and some people make fun of me, so feel free to. But I think the magnification ring is a little too stiff. Now I say that uh, on pretty much every single low power variable optic I've reviewed, except for one. So I'm thinking I'm an anomaly here, and most people wouldn't agree with me, but it is a little on the stiff side, in my humble opinion. Overall, it's a great optic. If you're looking for a budget-friendly, low-power variable optic, you can't go wrong with primary arms. Primary arms should definitely be on the list. There's a lot of really good low-power variable optics, budget-friendly ones, but no doubt primary arms should be on that list. Before you go, let me thank primary arms. They did send this in the 5 to 25 in the auto live to the channel to review, which is greatly appreciated. I want to thank the sponsor of the video, that guy over there. His name is Walter. Walter sponsored the video. The dummies are great. I can't wait for you guys to get them and see them and shoot them. They're, they're really, really cool. And they only weigh two and a half pounds and they can take a couple thousand rounds. So, so cool. Most important though, thank you very, very much for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you're watching this at the time this video comes out, I hope you had a great Christmas because this video is coming out the day after Christmas. And I hope you have a wonderful New Year's. If not, Either way, I love you. Thanks for watching. If you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notifications. If you do any of that, Walter will come and give you a high five, even though he doesn't have any arms. I'll <laughs> see you next time.